We are back now at 543. There is a new luxury farm stay bed and breakfast called In the Ground in Oregon's wine country. Cora Harlan joins us live this morning in Carlton to show us what you can do when you book a stay. Check out that view. Good morning, Cora. Come on, good morning, Emily. Good morning, Ken. Look at the view just off of the side of the building here around the fire looking east at Mount Hood as the sun kind of comes up over the horizon there. The irrigation is going over the wildflowers. This is one of many kind of group gathering areas that they have built into this design here. It is neat. It makes for a lot of room for people to get together uh, on a bed and breakfast day, get to know each other, chat around the fire and take in the sunrise for breakfast, the sun set when the sun goes down. This is just awesome. It just opened up outside of Carlton. This is a nine unit bed and breakfast place. And I gotta show you this because you will just love it. I talked a lot about the community space, the wide open space. Here's more of it here. Fireplace, gas fireplace. Plenty of places to sit around and chat with people you've never met before. Chat with some people you have met before. And again, um, you can have breakfast out here overlooking this 20, 30 million dollar view of Mount Hood to the east and the sun coming up in the morning. It's absolutely great. Carl, whip around here because I want to introduce everybody to Rachel Westcott, who's the innkeeper who is behind the breakfast bar here, ready to talk breakfast this morning. How are you doing? I'm good. How good? are you? You got a good job, I think. You were working <laughs> yes. from home and now you're the innkeeper. Yes, it's a gorgeous view and really awesome people. This is just getting off the ground out here, just outside of Carlton. Tell me what you want people to know about uh, about this area. I've talked a lot about the common spaces out here, but what, what do you all want people to know about this? Place? Absolutely. So this is on our regenerative farm. Uh, it's called In the Ground because we have nine rooms in the ground. Uh huh. And we love it for people to come out here, have breakfast, come at a leisurely pace, and just enjoy the view of Mount Hood, of our pastures. It's a really Meet gorgeous Meet the cows, day. too. Yeah. And you've got breakfast spread out here. Carl, Absolutely. why don't you whip around the other side of the breakfast bar there, uh, and uh, Rachel can kind of tell us just the idea of uh, what, what, uh, what people, and uh, what I love about this breakfast bar is <clears throat> that you can see, you can see the view we just showed you from out behind here. But give me an idea for the types of stuff for breakfast this morning. Absolutely. So we have pastries, we have local tea and local coffee that everyone can peruse before they get our two flights of breakfast. Mm -hmm. Our first flight is going to be our green juice, which is from our garden, mm -hmm. and then uh, our parfait as well. And then scones are looking good. The scones right? are looking good, yes. Yeah. Um, we get these local. And then we also like have farm fresh eggs yes. Too, right? Our second yeah. flight is going to be our farm fresh eggs, mm -hmm. along with our sweetheart ham, also from the farm. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, this is just awesome, uh, Rachel. Thank you for having us out here this morning, Carl. I'm a, I don't mean to direct you, over direct you too much, but I just gotta I gotta have people see this as we take them out here. This is a breakfast bar, and look at the sweeping views of the hills around Carlton and around the valley out there, looking up at Mount Hood through the glass, big walls of windows. There's tons of common space out here. And again, there are nine bed and breakfast units uh, beneath the ground, beneath these wildfires, uh, wildflowers out here. Kind of like a, 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 a daylight roof. basement kind of an operation. <laughs> it's really cool. The yep. rooms are nicely appointed. And they're open for business out here. So if you're planning a trip to wine country, they like a lot of people from the Portland area, check this out. It's a place to kind of cool place to kind of come and relax, and decompress a little bit. Enjoy a little breakfast here. Enjoy the sunrise, sunset, glass or two of wine. And I'd say you got yourself a weekend right out there. From in the ground, bed and breakfast. Emily and Ken. Yeah, I'd say so. That's a beautiful space and just an awesome view of that sunrise. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it looks good and a great area too. Mm -hmm. So uh, you could definitely make a weekend out of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah.